everyone, Brianna Dignard here and welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. We are continuing on with our film photography science series. We talked about color photography processes, we've made our own developer, developed film, and now we're going to talk about one of the final aspects of developing your own film, and that is drying your negatives after they have been all chemically developed. If you're unlucky and your negatives don't dry absolutely perfectly, it's gonna leave water streaks behind. And this is a very annoying thing to photographers. Luckily, Kodak has developed and sells a chemical called PhotoFlow, which is marketed as being a easy to use wetting agent that is supposed to reduce water streaks on your film. But how does this work? Well, today we're gonna learn about that and to do so, we have to dive into water at the molecular level. And for that, I am gonna need my lab coat. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> Chemically speaking, photoflow works because it decreases the surface tension of water. Now, what is surface tension? Water is very chemically sticky, which means it loves to stick to itself, which is called cohesion, and it loves to stick to other things, which is called adhesion. Now, water molecules do something very interesting when they have nothing to be stuck to. So if I start dropping water onto this penny, the water molecules closest to the penny are going to adhere to it. The water molecules in the middle are going to be cohesive to each other, but the water molecules on top are either stuck to the water molecules underneath them or are facing the air. And because they're not surrounded by other water molecules, they're going to actually stick stronger to the water molecules below them. And that is what surface tension is. So you can see that there's a little bubble, it's curved around the water on my penny instead of being absolutely flat. And that's what we call surface tension. Surface tension is a really cool property of water, and sometimes it can be pretty useful, like waterproofing coats for raincoats, or waterproofing a tent for camping. But it can also be really annoying, like if you're trying to clean your clothes and the water actually doesn't go into the clothes, it just stays on the surface and it doesn't wash all the dirt out. Or if you're trying to use a water-based like spray paint, the water bunching up can cause the paint not to go on in an even coating. So scientists had to come up with ways to decrease the surface tension of water, and those are called wetting agents. These are little molecules that actually insert themselves between the molecules of water and decrease how sticky the water molecules are. So instead of being able to stick to each other now because they're all next to each other, there's little things in the way of trying to get the water to cohere to each other. These are wetting agents and they're all around us all the time. So Flotoflow is a wetting agent. It gets between those little droplets of water and it causes them to have less surface tension. And with less surface tension, instead of beating up all in the film, the water becomes more flat, it can run off better. And in addition, it can even evaporate better because surface tension is so strong, it actually prevents water from evaporating as fast as it could because it's trying to keep those water molecules on the surface. So Photoflow is a chemical agent called propylene glycol, and that serves as a wetting agent for film negatives. Now, chemically speaking, is there an at-home viable solution to Photoflow? Yes, we have wetting agents all around us in our home. Dish soap, laundry detergent, dish detergent, soaps, cleaners, they're all wetting agents that work by breaking down the surface tension of water and allowing surfaces to get clean. So some people actually use very diluted solutions of dish soap or laundry, not laundry detergent, dish detergent, in order as a substitute for photo flow. There is a couple of warnings that I will give to this is that they are not, photo flow and dish soap are not 100% chemically the same. They do both serve as wetting agents, so they fulfill that chemical requirement, but soaps are going to tend to be anionic, meaning they possess a lot of negative charges, and they're also going to be basic, which means they have an increased pH, and they could contain fragrances or other additives that may interfere with your negatives. So if you want to be completely 100% chemically safe for the storage of your negatives, go with PhotoFlow. It is comparatively cheap and works as a wedding agent. If you want to experiment and have some fun and then come back and haunt me in 10 years if your negatives don't store correctly, use dish soap, try it with laundry detergent, just have fun. It may not turn out, but that is the fun of science and film is that you get to experiment and things may not always turn out. That's at least one of my favorite parts about it. And if you're just here because you're interested in learning a little bit more about surface tension, then I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching today's video and I hope you enjoyed learning all about surface tension and wetting agents and about how chemistry can make better film negatives. We love science.
Um, and stay tuned tomorrow for a little bonus short that will really show you how good wedding agents are at helping get your clothes clean. So thank you again so much for watching and today's fun fact that we're gonna rate on a scale of one to 10 in the comments below is that surface tension is how those little water insects actually stay on top of the water as they move. So please be sure to rate that fun fact in the comments below. Uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for this upcoming Friday where we'll be exploring an early form of photography. And follow me on Instagram, tell all your friends about me, and keep it sciencey.